Hi, this is Larry from Pace Turf. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Spectrum Technologies Direct EC meter. We're going to describe how to uh, calibrate the meter and get it working properly so that you don't have uh, erroneous readings during the summer. If you have any questions or if you purchase the meter, they also have a, a very nice uh, manual. Uh, this is downloadable online that provides guidance on how to actually calibrate and use the meter. In the back of the uh, this uh, guide, there's also an appendix that talks about turf grass uh, turf tolerance levels, and these are the readings. These are the levels that were established by Pace Turf, so they're uh, they're good to keep in hand and keep this uh, manual around. Uh, you'll be able to calibrate and operate the meter uh, properly. Now let's take a look at calibration and operation of the meter. When you turn the meter on by pressing the on-off button, three diagnostic screens are displayed in rapid succession. Ignore these displays for now unless you have a problem with your meter. The standard display includes a battery life indicator in the upper left corner, ATC, automatic temperature control, in the upper right corner, and the abbreviation MEAS indicating that the meter is in measurement mode on the left side above the larger electrical conductivity or EC value. Below the larger numbers should be an indicator, a small indicator, uh, it's a small M and a capital S indicating millisiemens. If a micro semen symbol is displaying, that's a small U with a capital S, you need to change some of the meter settings as described later in this video. Temperature is displayed at the bottom of the display in either Fahrenheit or centigrade. To get ready to calibrate the meter, you need to unscrew the watertight cap at the top of the meter. Once the cap is removed, you'll see batteries and two small buttons. These buttons are used to either increase or decrease the values on the display to match the EC of the standard solution. When the meter is held with the batteries below the buttons, the button on the right increases the meter values and the button on the left decreases the meter values to match the standard solutions. Calibration is pretty easy. Using the standard 2.764 solution that came with the meter, you can order more of the solution as you need it. What I like to do uh, is pour a little bit into a cup, small cup, this is like a salsa cup. If you uh, go to Mexican food restaurants, sometimes they'll have some of those left over. Uh, you take a few of those and you just uh, immerse the probe into the end of the solution. Uh, and don't let the probe touch any of the areas of, of the uh, bottom or sides of the uh, small uh, cup when you're doing this uh, uh, calibration. So all you need to do is take your meter. You've already taken the top off as we described earlier. The increase in button on the right, decrease button on the left. When we turn it on, we'll get a, a reading when we put the uh, cup in, into the solution and we'll adjust the reading to match that 2.764 reading. Uh, for convenience, I've, I've placed the probe into the 2.76 calibration solution so I can use both hands to work with the meter. But if you turn the meter on, we'll see that it's reading 3.65 millisiemens per centimeter. That is the same as decisiemens per meter, which we use frequently here at Pace. If you look at the top, we need to drop the levels, those numbers down. So we have the increase button on the right, decrease button on the left. If you don't remember which one it is, it doesn't matter because if you press the increase button, you'll see the numbers go up. And press the, the calibration button on the left, it'll go down. And when you're in this mode, once you push those buttons, it'll show you at the top the little words CAL. So now we just bring the readings down to 2.76. Too far, go back up. And then the meter will uh, reset itself. Or we can press the hold. There it is, calibration. 2.75. Okay, that's close enough uh, in my book to 2.76. I'm not going to try to get it any closer than that. That's it. Now you're in measure mode and you're good to go from there. The Field Scout EC meter has a variety of ranges that can be used for salinity measurements. We are only interested in the high range for turf grass systems. To check the range, hold the temperature mode button and at the same time press the on off button. When set to the right mode, the meter should display the numbers 20.00 a small M and a capital S for millisiemens, and the letters HI. If this is not what the meter displays, you'll need to adjust the range. To adjust the range, press and hold the temperature key and then press the on-off button. 
release those keys and then press the hold enter key to cycle through the options for range. The options for range will be displayed auto, PU, low, and the high range which you're looking for. It'll cycle through those and it will automatically put you back into measure mode after you're done. There's a small chance that your, your meter might be set up for a different type of calibration system uh, that we need for what is described in this uh, video. So let's make sure your, your uh, meter is set up correctly. To do so, you hold the increment button down, that's the right button, and press the on off button. This will tell you what kind of calibration mode the meter is set up for. Right now it says auto calibrate, no. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then we'll press, so we'll press enter. That'll take us to one point calibration. We want it to say yes. And we press enter to go ahead and fix those uh, numbers. Now, if there's a chance that the meter was set up improperly, hold it, let's go through the steps again. Hold the increment button down, press on off. And then what you will do is press the increment button again to say auto calibrate yes. We want no. So the increment button changes the features. You have to hit the enter key to accept that value. A one point calibration, no, or one point calibration, yes. And you want it to be yes. Hold that down. And there you go. The meter is set up to be used uh, as we described here, and hopefully you have good luck with it.